What do you make of the fact that Donald Trump chose to be in court? I mean, think about a politician who chooses to make the fact that he's in court a, a, a spectacle hour after hour after hour for the cameras. Well, listen, politically, I think it's great theater for Mr. Trump, and I think he has correctly assessed his base is going to support him. You put up the four indictments, the poll numbers keep going up, but more importantly for Mr. Trump, they are the donations. And so they're sending out swaths of email traffic, robocalls, et cetera, and they're raising money off of this stuff. And so those photo ops are helping him because in their minds, he's an aggrieved victim. We can debate whether or not that's the case, but he has them believing it. People who say that he is this massive danger to democracy, they do an awful lot to play into his hand of being the aggrieved victim, which keeps helping his poll numbers. Well, listen, and I don't have anything personally against the president. I just think his temperament this time in our nation's history and the tribalism that we're all experiencing, I would like to see somebody who could be more transformative and unify the country. And I think uh, President Biden and President Trump have both proven that they can't do that. But as it relates specifically to what she's doing, that's a politician at work. So you just have to accept the city and state of New York are anti-Trump. 